what's up guys I'm back with another video in this video I did want to go over the CVC and KVK competitions I wanted to go over how exactly I keep a steady stream of victories incoming and keep in mind this is a base strategy you can definitely build on top of this strategy as I went over in my last videos I am focusing on my growth right now in a low risk manner so let me go ahead and get into how I actually do the CVC's and the KVK's so that I can score consistent wins whether I have time or not to invest in time consuming strategies such as baiting you might have heard of baiting or um, other strategies that just require you to be in the game more so a simple strategy that I like to build on top of my routine which I went over in my last video is going after silver now you definitely want to do that when you're in the enemy kingdom because it pays double and going after silver also pays double so you quadruple your rewards there you see now I go after silver altars because they're low risk now let's say I go to a ghost shelter okay we're talking a lot more silver as you can see there 1.7 million silver compared to just the first silver altar I can find 259,000 so the rewards are definitely there but people don't like it at all I mean can you imagine you just barely took out an invader or a ghost finally people are gonna come after you it doesn't always happen um, as you can see here, there's 2.2 million at stake for the invaders layer. So there are a couple of ways to actually hit those up with low risk. And that's if there's a lot of empty ones. So if you see that there are a lot of available ghost shelters and invader layers up for grabs, it might mean that somebody just came and hit them all up in order to get rewards for an invader or a ghost event okay now that's not always the case but it can be sometimes people don't don't care that's something that can happen as well <clears throat> but yeah those are quite a bit higher in risk than just going after regular silver altars and they will score you consistent points so if you can't find any silver altars maybe take the risk or play it safe you can always just gather a resource that you need and wait for a silver altar to appear and that's pretty much it <clears throat> so as I talked about in my last video there's drawing enemies and an enemy hint event ongoing right now so that's why I don't actually have anything out right now so keep that in mind I do like to do low risk and it really does help so I want to thank you guys for watching my video I'll catch you in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe. Activate those notifications so you know exactly when my next videos come out. Exactly when a giveaway comes out. I am still doing giveaways and the rewards are getting greater. So, with that said, I'll catch you guys in my next video.